Amal Kumar sharing with you some questions from probability test paper. Here we have three of them. Each is one mark. Think like this. First one is, what is the probability of not rolling a sum of six with two dice? The second one is, what is the probability of rolling three prime numbers in a row with one die? And the last one here is, what is the probability of drawing a club or a king from a deck of 52 cards, right? Let's answer these questions one by one. You can actually pause the video, answer and then move on. Take up other questions from this probability test paper. So when we say two dice, not rolling a sum of six, it may be a good idea to make this matrix, right? So in this matrix, we write numbers from one to six in rows and columns, right? And then we just add them up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you know, the total number of numbers will be six times six, 36, right? So denominator here will be 36, right? Now let's combine. So one plus one is two, and then the numbers increase. Seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So how many numbers are there with six as the sum? So these are the numbers diagonally. Do you see that? That diagonal is six. So one, two, three, four, just five. Do you understand? So the question is, what is the probability of not rolling? So the key point here is not rolling sum of six. So except for these five, all others are fine, okay? So what we should write here is one, two, three, four, five should be taken away from 36, right? So it is 36 minus five, correct? So 31 over 36 is the probability of sum not equal to six. Do you get, get an idea, right? So that is how you should be answering this question. Now the next one is, what is the probability of rolling three prime numbers in a row with one die. So you can roll one, two, three, four, five, or six. Now prime numbers here are one, three, and five, right? So, so the probability of one prime number is, you can write three out of six or half, correct? Now it says, what is the probability of rolling three prime numbers in a row, right? So, so first time it is uh, half, correct? Because half are prime, half are even, second time. Now this is independent event, right? So the key thing to understand is second time when we roll, we know it is independent event, right? The result of the first does not really affect the results of the next, right? So therefore, it just gets multiplied. And what you get here is one over eight. You could write one over two whole cube also. So that's the probability of rolling uh, three times. So let me write just event A. What is the probability of drawing a club or a king from a deck of 52 cards? So, so probability of a club or, or, or means addition, right? Or king. Now, so this is the combination where we know how many clubs are there and how many kings are there. Now, what you know is that club cards are 13 in number, right? So this is... Uh, a group like this club, right? So let me kind of uh, make a sample space here. Okay, so in this sample space, uh, we have uh, 13 clubs, right? So clubs are 13. Okay, I'm not writing the number now. How many kings are there? Kings are four. Now, do we have any overlap? Yes, we do. One king is is of clubs, right? So there are three here. Do you get the point, right? So, so there are 12 plus one, 13 club cards, correct? Now, since this is a combination, you could uh, combine here 12 plus one, 13 plus three, 16. So you could write this as uh, 16 over 52 as your answer. Or if you want to use the formula, you know, probability of getting clubs plus probability of getting kings, minus probability of clubs and kings, right? So intersection of these two, that is good, right? 
So that minus is because of this one. Do you understand? So it should be, if I do the second method, it will be 13 over 52 plus 4 over 52 minus, this is 1 is common, right? So, so minus 1 over 52. And that gives us same answer. 13 plus 4, 17 minus 1, 16 over 52, correct? You could always simplify this, you know, 4 times is 13. So you could write this as 4 over 13. Is that okay? So that is how you should answer these questions. Now the idea of having these questions is that we are working on three different concepts. And I hope you now get these concepts. When mutually exclusive events are there, when we have independent events, and when do we have dependent events. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.